You absolutely told me about that already. <laughs> I haven't done anything with that yet. Um, let me take a quick look here. Windows here. So we're gonna we're working our way through QMK. So. So mostly just waiting for everything absolutely ridiculous. There is now a train rolling through the station like absolute insanity. The big thing I don't know about key switch sockets is do I need to put an extra support thing under here? Their headphones. Always worth looking to see if somebody else has done the work for you. particular installer. perfect but it's what we've got kind of thing and that is the facts it's like yeah okay it's not perfect but it is made by volunteers great that's also fine the fact that it's made by volunteers does not change the fact that it, it could use improvement you know um you are definitely not innocent not innocent in the least <sighs> okay. An installer should be done. Okay. Now I'm supposed to be able to go to... That's why, if you look bottom here is yeah that's why we uh that prongs off of the board which i think is probably going to be there that's probably about as far forward as that's going to get um and now we need to Um, I have not, Carrot. I have not linked the store to my account in ages. Uh, <laughs> I'm mostly streaming for myself here. <laughs> Rain.
grab a file real quick. While I'm waiting for that, uh, I'm just going to quickly download a file for uh, Lurk for the Foods. Always, always Lurk for the Foods. Here, you can actually see that we have both a flat pad and a hole. The flat pad is for surface mount solder and key switch sockets. The hole is for uh, di direct soldering key switches, if you so chose. Paid our connections up the, ba uh, the back end here, because the USB-C is a reversible standard if you don't do that. Uh, you will not have a reversible USB-C connector, and then people will be very confused. This cookie-less storm. This is basically where we left off last time. Uh, since then, I haven't touched KiCad, I haven't looked at the PCB. Um, I have, however... That one? There it is. I have, however, started, and the annual annual license, which is the affordable option, is like two thousand dollars per seat, per year, and that's basic, just straight normal modeling, nothing else outside of that, which is just unreasonably expensive. So I've been looking around. There's plenty of softwares out there. I do have a cool mom. Yeah, they are they are currently zipping around in their RV right now. Um, most uh, CAD softwares have nowadays is the ability to output um, a step file or some other 3D modeling file format. Uh, what I've done with that is I've used that to project a set of holes onto the back, which then I've created these and I'm going to use like it as a night light. Okay, so this is this is kind of where we're at. We've got some some pieces. We'll probably put some heat inserts there. So I'm going to have to go find it real quick. It'll likely be some combination of using these holes to pass up through into the lid. I'm not certain yet. We will see. Um, maybe it'll be a case of using this hole for just holding the PCB down and then the other four for holding the whole package together. a USB port on that guy. Oh, because I didn't update it at the global level, did I? I updated it at... Thank you so much for the gift subs. Really appreciate that. Yeah, mom, you if you buy stuff from your from the mobile app, you pay a bunch of extra money for literally no reason. Absolutely no reason what the keyboard people do. Uh, because that is not me. <laughs> I think two hundred dollars can. Uh... Yeah, pretty much. OBS just refused. Um, 
what I might do is use the cover and bolt in through the bottom. I don't know yet. Doing all the cool, cool person things. Not, not terribly far off though. <laughs> Carrot is the top and the uses to be tamed. Um, so the big thing I'm trying to figure out, um, is, did I put you on the table?